Hi everyone, this is Pamela and today I would like to talk about a topic that I think everyone has gone through that and if you haven't lived it, um, I guess at some point of your life maybe you're going to experience it and um, it is which are the signs that allow you to see that your relationship is over even when you are still together with the person and this is something that's really hard to swallow especially when you still feel something from the other half but the other person you feel like is not already engaging into their relationship anymore so the first thing that you need to pay attention is that you're not longer going to date and every time you go out together there is somebody else in there maybe a friend and you know some other acquaintance but the thing is that you're no longer the two of you together and you know this is really common especially when you have been together for so long that or maybe sometimes it's not for so long it's just that you start like having a lot of activities um, you know apart that you start you know creating your own relationships so at some point you don't have anything else in common the other red flag I might say is that the kisses and the intercourse feel like they are really mechanical there is no spark in there anymore and in a way you realize about it and it affects a lot of your self-esteem and I know that it's your responsibility to take care of how you feel about yourself however it is fake to say that that wouldn't affect you at some point. So you feel like your, your couple is not responding in the same way and you feel like you don't engaging into that anymore. And that's a really big red flag that you need to actually pay attention. Of course, that doesn't say that if the description that I'm saying matches with what's going on in your relationship right now, that you're immediately going to break up with the person. If you feel like this relationship is worth the fight to go to a therapist and you know to even you know work for it, then do it. I mean, at the end, it's your decision. I'm just you know informing here things that you need to pay attention in order for doing something. So the other um, thing that you need to take into account is that uh, even if you are in a relationship, you feel lonely. And it's very related to the first one. You're no longer, you know, sharing time together. So that means that, you know, you're farther away from each other emotionally and maybe even physically most of the time. Even when you are in the same place, you feel like this person mentally is not there. Maybe you're talking to them, you need to repeat yourself really often because they are not present. And this is also really painful because in a way you start resenting it uh, that you you tend to feel or perceive that this other person is not prioritizing you and that's what happens when you feel that there is no longer you know the passion or the love present uh, you know in that relationship which leads me to the other one that is that your gut feeling is also telling you it's telling you because when something important happens into your life you don't feel the need to actually tell your couple and it is because of the time that he or she has neglected you the time you have told them something important and they haven't paid attention to it and you feel like you no longer want to be part of it you don't want to be vulnerable with them or you can't be that so even though you're in the same space you feel like you are by yourself, you are alone, you're not able to open up to this person anymore and this is also something that is actually very harmful for not only your self-esteem for for your mental health and the last one that I would like to you know address today is that you know that you no longer make plans for the future maybe at the beginning of the relationship you were talking about living together, maybe getting married but right now this conversation is not longer existing and you're not even actually having it, maybe you're avoiding it because for fear that, of that the other person is going to say or maybe you don't want to talk with it or of this uh, topic with the other person. So, you know, 
we sometimes try to avoid the reality but doing that it's more more painful especially because you need to realize that at some point that it's going to you know affect you and it's going to lead to what is actually going to happen to end the relationship that sometimes most of the cases is the best decision remember it's up to you